Hello again friends. Um, I said I wasn't going to give you a tutorial on how to set up uh, how the uh, Odin product project sets you up with VirtualBox and Xbuntu and I, I'm still holding true to that. I'm not going to go through step by step. Um, however, I do want to show you uh, under the hood of what that looks like. So um, this is kind of the aftermath, so in case you're following along and you're going through the steps and the modules, this would be how it would look like after it's all set up. So I figured it would be beneficial for somebody uh, out there that might be following me al along with me and would like to see what, what something looks like set up uh, up, up to the point I got to yesterday. So if you will, um, take a look here. Um, so I guess this isn't really a vlog video, I won't really display it as such and I'll, I'll put it out outside of the um, I'll still put it inside the um, the playlist but I won't call it a vlog day but anyway um, so this is the Xbuntu operating system uh, inside of the virtual box this is Oracle uh, virtual box here and you can see I got a base memory of 8192 megabytes which is basically a little over 8 gig I have two processors, I have a floppy optical and hard drive boot order, and I have a AMD V um, nested paging virtualized processor, I think it's eight cores, but I'm only using uh, two processors on this one. Um, and my memory as 24 meg is a good split between two screens since I do have two monitors. Um, I'm using a, as I showed in the other video, I'm using a 40 gig. <clears throat> Uh, VDI, which is the uh, virtual disk that's used for this uh, virtual virtual uh, virtual box session, um, and um, they call this the guest OS. The host would be my Windows machine, and then um, that's kind of that. So one thing that they don't go over in the <clears throat> the uh, material that I do is I've set up snapshots. So I want, did want to show you that. Um, how you take a snapshot is <clears throat> if your system's currently running, which mine is, uh, you just click take and you would, you know, name the test, name the snapshot wherever you want and then hit OK. I don't want I won't create a new one now, but it will go through and it'll just say creating live snapshot. And what that does is it saves the current state of your VM which is really a good thing to have and I'm not criticizing Odin project for not mentioning it maybe they just haven't gotten gotten to that part in their modules but it's very good to do that in case you ever get your system gets hosed or something gets corrupted on your on your guest system you still have snapshots you can revert back to so if you see here I've got various times that I created a snapshot. So I created the baseline plus a guest. I created it again when I installed VS Code, um, and I did another one after I installed Git through the. Um, and we'll go over some of that new stuff tonight um, in the my next video upload, which will be the the vlog for for today. But um, for this instance, I'm just showing you that uh, when you do a major install or some, you know decent milestones it's, it's a good idea to make a snapshot <clears throat> now this is probably a lot excuse me this is pretty much probably an overkill at this point to have this many <clears throat> but um it's good to get in the habit of having at least a couple every now and then um since i was doing a lot of uh manual entries all at once i figured it was a good idea to um get a snapshot at each milestone um and then, so that's basically it um, and I will take you to the VM so how you bring the VM up is either uh, just go to show and because I already have it running it would say start if I didn't have it running but the VMs already up and running and so I just put in my password here and this is it so this is Xbuntu 20.04 LTS like uh, that's the long-term support model uh, um, version of Xbuntu uh, that I talked about the other day in my vlog and this is how you get it, it this is basically what it looks like under the hood it's something special but this is a 
this is the whisker menu that they were talking about in the videos and you've got all your different things and um, I'll go over the rest of the stuff they have here in the vlog po the vlog video for tonight um, that's part of the lessons I went through but here's how you get to everything <clears throat> you do control alt T for terminal to bring up a new terminal box uh, this is where I've been told and reading that I'm going to live um, and when I'm not in creating writing code you know me uh, installing and busting out commands here in the in the uh, in the terminal so um, I look forward to it I'm excited I hope you're excited too to go along this journey with me and I will see you in a little while talk to you later bye